It's another great day at North Top, so I'm Chase from Miss Bender's class. I'm Adriana from Miss Siemens' class, and this is the WNTE e News. Today's date is Monday, February 8th. Today is Boy Scout Day. Boy Scout Day celebrates the birthday of scouting in America. On February 8, 1910, Chicago publisher William Dickinson Boyce filed incorporation papers in the District of Columbia to create the Boy Scouts of America. Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts offer a tremendously valuable program of skills and values for millions of boys. The top award of Eagle Scout is an accomplishment that reaps of recognition, rewards, and benefits for a young man throughout his life. Please raise your hand if you are or were a Boy Scout. Thanks guys. Happy birthday yesterday to Austin McLean in Miss Wolf's class. Happy birthday today to Emily Logan and Connor Odell. Woo Happy birthday! On this day in history, February 8th, 1986, Oprah Winfrey became the first African American woman to host a nationally syndicated talk show. She was the richest African American of the 21st century. Oprah was raised by her extremely poor grandmother. Despite many hard times in her childhood, Oprah won a speech contest in high school that secured her a full scholarship to study communication. She attended Tennessee State University, which was founded as a college for African Americans in 1912. Winfrey's career in media would not have surprised her grandmother. She said that ever since Winfrey could talk, she was on a stage. As a child, Oprah played games interviewing her dolls and the crows on the fence of her family's property. Winfrey later acknowledged her grandmother's influence, saying it was Hattie Mae who would encourage her to speak in public and gave her a positive sense of herself. Oprah Winfrey has been an inspiration to many people by being herself and allowing other people to be themselves. I wonder if there's a future talk show host sitting in one of our classrooms. Now let's check in with Emma for the weather reports. Good morning, Dolphins. I'm Emma, and this is the Demon Cat, Bruce Wayne. We will see a mix of sunshade and clouds today. The high today is 54, and the low tonight is 45. It will be a calm, cool day with a little chance of rain. Light winds will be coming from the northeast. Tomorrow will be warmer. <laughs> with a 50% chance of rain showers. 50 is half. A 50% chance it will rain plus a 50% chance it won't rain. That equals 100. I'm hoping it starts to dry. <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy out there. Dolphins, back to you, Akers. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. In school news, we are quickly approaching our goal of raising $10,000 to help our teachers out with mini grants. An example of a mini grant is like if your teacher wants to buy your class some new books. For example, my teacher, Miss Bender, got her whole class brand new copies of the novel George Washington Socks. Here's Callia with the latest report and our next daily dance move. Hugging and a kiss and dance and Keeping things positive, Aubrey. We are here with the Booster Thon recap. We have lots of reasons to be positive because our Dance Fit Booster Thon game is strong. <laughs> that was a good high five. Big Dolphin thank yous to Vincent is Pender Pines, Carolina Window Coverings, and Beachy Clean for donating. Oh, I registered for Dance Fit and made one dollar donation, so tomorrow is a PJ day for me. Woo -hoo. Me too. I'm gonna wear my coziest puppy pajamas. <laughs> of course you are. Sounds like we will have a lot of fun-filled week. A fun-filled week thanks to Dance Fit. We need to add a move to the Shimmy Shake Dance, and I have a video of Chase and Ellie doing their best moves. Put <laughs> all the footage. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Well done, guys. 
we have we applaud your effort. Last week, let we left off on our dance with dancing like this. <laughs> and today we add this. And in front of your belly button, there's like a disc four times a on each side. <laughs> Good luck with that, dolphins. See you tomorrow. Hopefully in your pajamas. Bye. Bye. So we have another edition of North Topsail Athletes of the Week. Congratulations to another pair of siblings, Mason and Avery Jones. Avery Jones is in Miss Nipsey's kindergarten class. She has been playing soccer and doing gymnastics for three years now. She was recently chosen to be on the pre-team by Port City Gymnastics. Avery's mom said, Avery has had a passion for gymnastics since she was two. She is always upside down around the house and still gets all of her schoolwork done even with four hours of practice a week in Wilmington. Wow, Avery, great job. I can relate. Mason Jones is in Ms. McCain's third grade class. He has been playing football for three years. He was chosen to be on an elite team, which will play in a tournament with teams across the U.S. Mason's mom said, Mason works very hard to balance school and football. He practices three days a week with a game on Saturday and still maintains honor roll. He has a positive attitude towards his teammates. He puts his whole heart <sighs> Mason also has a shout out from his teacher, Miss Keene. Her class plays basketball every Friday and she said, Mason has a competitive spirit. He puts his whole heart into any sport he plays, especially basketball on Fridays. He has become a great player in their Friday games and cheers on his teammates by celebrating when they score. Way to go, Mason and Avery. It's that time again, Dolphins. Miss Garrison drew more names for the Positive Student Referral Raffle. Winners, see her sometime this week for your prize. If you are a virtual student, Ms. Garrison and your teacher will get you your prize. Congrats to the following students. Our own, Layla Zamboli. Ms. Kim Law said she is a hard worker and always participates. Awesome job, Layla. Congrats to fourth grader Skyla Hutchinson in Ms. Fulbright's fourth grade class for sharing an amazing story about perseverance. Ms. Garrison said she was an amazing role model in class. And congrats to third grader. Parker Castor in Miss Keene's class. Miss Keene said, Parker was a great friend to a fellow student. The student was upset that he did not do well in an assignment. Parker walked over when he heard him and said, that's okay, just do your best and I can help you. Way to go, Parker, Skyla, and Layla. Speaking of Miss Keene's class. Kindness is our character trait this month. Miss Keene's class decided to be the kindness squad for the month of February. They have their own shirts, and they plan to do random acts of kindness around the school this month. If they do something kind for you, make sure to be kind back and say thank you. Wait, she's brought your mask. Oh, thanks. If you see them do something kind, tell them nice job. Hey, Mom, my mom's asking for you. Nice job, Ellie. Maybe your class can do kind things as well. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to be safe, well prepared, in control, and to make respectful choices. You may be seated.
World Kindness Day is coming up on Wednesday, February 17th. Do things for people not because of who they are or what they do in return. Do things because of who you are. Happiness is the new rich. Inner peace is the new success. Health is the new wealth. Right, coach? And kindness is the new cool. Be cool this week, dolphins. I'm Adriana. And I'm Chase. Don't forget to dance to success. And just keep dancing. Just keep dancing, just keep dancing, just keep dancing, just keep dancing.